Hey guys, I'm Scarlett. Hey guys, I'm Violet. So, we we just got this rainbow loom, and we found the directions very confusing. So we're going to show you how to do it. These are the directions, and they basically just show you pictures, and we thought a video would be better. Yeah, so the rainbow loom comes with this, this, and um, to do what we're doing today, you're going to have to take that off and use this part, which is a hook if you can't see it. And then it doesn't come with these three colors here, the, the yellow, the pink, and the green. But it comes with a pack like that with all these rainbow colors, which we separated the pink, the blue, and the black, because that's the colors we're going to be using today. But the final product looks like this. So we both have one of those colors. So Violet's going to show you how to like string them on here. And then I'll show you how to use the hook to make the bracelet. Okay, so the first thing you want to start with is you want to start with this arrow facing, like, towards your... You. Yeah, away from you, like, not towards you. Like, if you're sitting across from somebody, you want it to face them, not you. Okay, so I don't know if this is a good angle, whatever. So I'm going to start with pink. So it's going to go pink, turquoise, black. So we go pink. And as you can see, I put it from the first one to the next one, and I'm going to the right, so then I'm going to take it from the next one, I'm just going to put it on top of the pink, and put it in back to the middle one. And then just repeat this process into a zigzag formation. Make sure you get it all the way over the C's. You can't see their, their C's. Yeah, and when you do it um, for your first time, you might want to make it like a pattern. Like we have pink, purple, black, because it could be easier than just random colors. And you want to go all the way to the end. Sorry if my hand's in the way. Okay, so we're getting towards the end. So this is our last one. So if you stop at this one, it's going to be all messed up. You want to go to the exact, or the last peg before. Yeah, and even if you have, like, a huge wrist and you don't think this will fit, it actually will because they are very stretchy. Mine's very... Stretchy. Yeah, okay. So now that you have it like this with your arrow facing away from you, you're going to turn it towards you. And then you're going to take this hook and you're going to put it in the pink one like this. And then you're going to take the black one in the hook and just pull it up. Then you're going to place it around that one. The one adjacent to it. Yeah. Then you're going to not get the, the turquoise. Pink one. Yeah, turquoise. And pull it up through this hole that they provided for you. And then just place it around. And the nice thing about it being a C is like, there is, in the C there's like a little hole, so you can easily grab it. Yeah. And like, if your rubber band comes off, just like, don't freak out if you're near the end. Um, you don't need to start over, but just like, place it back on. It won't ruin your bracelet. I mean, it happened a couple times. When it's we normal for it to it. come off, yeah. Yeah. Like, once you do it for a while, you get used to it, and it doesn't come off as often. So Scarlett's showing you this, this very slow. She can go much faster, but it's always going to take your time just to make sure you're not missing something. Yeah.
Sometimes it's difficult to grab the yeah, right the string. Yeah, can be difficult. Sometimes it's easier if you hold it upright. Um, like, sometimes I'll hold it. Like, up like this. Yeah. And then you could just do it that way. But I'm showing you how to do it. Down, because it's Down. easier to film. Yeah. And the box, that, um, the directions do tell you to do it down. but Yeah, like they tell you, like, it's like, it'll only work down, but it doesn't. Yeah, it's easier, actually, to do it up, but it, we're just doing it down because it's easier to film. Now, you may be thinking, they're such tiny little the rubber bands, they must break all the time. We have done, like, a lot of bracelets, and... We've never had the experience that they break. Like, not once. <laughs> and sometimes, like, it might just be easier to use your hands on the hook. Because the hook is so tiny. But it's sometimes hard just to do it with your hands because your, hand, your fingers are so big compared to the little rubber bands. Yeah. But sometimes the hook just does not want to let go of that rubber band. Okay, so I'm nearing the end, and as you noticed, um, when I first started, I did not loop the first one, but I started with the second one. That's not going to be the case for the end, because I'm going to loop the last one. Okay, so now this is what it looks like completed, and your first one will look big and awkward. But um, that's because when you finish your bracelet, you're going to have this like that. The little C at the end. Yeah. And this C will connect it. So we're going to show you how to use the C's now. Let me just get it from the tag. So you put the C on first before you take your bracelet off the pegs. Yeah. So we're going to take this little C and put it around this. Okay. So you're going to have it like that. Now you're just going to take Just around it. one the the two of the pink. Yeah, take put it around both of the pink. And then just take it off. But just make sure that you ha have like hold of this one. You don't want it to like come off. Okay, so now you have it like this, and you're going to loop this pink one around the other side of the C. So the end's pink and the beginning's pink. Yeah. So you see? And there will be one loop that's much bigger than the others, and that's normal, completely normal. We'll show you ours. So that's the finished product. So we have, and they're really, like, fun, easy to do. So thanks for watching this video. I hope it helped. Bye. Bye.